Kia ora, Dr. Tali Maitonga. Thank you for joining me to talk about the COVID vaccine rollout. My name is Emma. I'm one of the junior doctors at Middlemore Hospital. Um, had a lot of questions from my patients about the vaccine. So I'm feeling very fortunate that you're here with me today to answer some of their questions and mine. I understand that you've been doing a lot of work around the vaccine rollout. Can you tell us a little bit about your job and what you've been doing? Kia ora and bula vinaka, Emma. I'm a GP in South Auckland and I'm helping with the Pacifica community vaccination information rollout. Out. A lot of our patients are very onto it with their flu vaccines. They get them every year and they're wanting to know, can they get the COVID vaccine while they're there at their GP getting their flu vaccine? Yeah, it's really important to um, explain to them that you need a two week break between the two vaccines. You can have your flu vaccine and wait two weeks before you start the COVID vaccine. Or if you're having your COVID vaccine first, then wait two weeks after your second dose before you have the flu vaccine. A woman asks me about who is going to monitor elderly people who have been given the vaccines and may live alone or at home. I appealed to the uh, community, to the family members to check in on them, even just a phone call to see how they're doing uh, or getting their doctor or their practice nurse to ring them. That's a really good point. I mean, I guess we watch people um, for that first 20 minutes after they receive the dose, but maybe to have a plan about their community will look out for them in the days after receiving the vaccine. That's, um, that's a really good point. Um, well, thank you for joining me, Dr. Tale Maitonga. It's a real pleasure. And thank you for your contribution to making sure our communities have the best information. Kia ora, Emma. Thank you. Thank you.